Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Silent Hill 2. Last time... I don't even know what happened last time. A lot of craziness happened last time, including the truth coming out about James and his wife. And considering the game just gave me nine save points right here, that leads me to assume that something major is about to come up. Maybe the end of the game, more than likely. But alright. I am nervous as all hell. Do I have... Okay, let me reload fully on that. Okay, that's that's reloaded. I only have 28 rifle shells. Okay, for a rainy day. Uh, my pyramid head sword, that, that's looking fine and dandy. Okay, we're going to reload that too. All right. Got my trusty shotgun out. I am nervous. But whatever, let's go. Let's do this. Oh, okay, it's empty. I worried for nothing, but it looks like there's a cutscene. What was with that scream from James? So could it be that the pyramid heads are mad that I have their sword? And okay, wow, that is messed up. So is that another apparition of Maria or Mary or? I was weak. Yes, you were. That's why I needed you someone to punish me for my sins but that's all over now I know the truth now it's time to end this oh you've got to be kidding me oh you have no 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 I'm fighting javelin heads I'm fighting javelin heads okay well did I hit one okay this doesn't seem to be working. Um, how much damage does that do? Oh, holy crap. Okay. This didn't seem to be doing too much. Oh my god. Wait, I gotta remember, I can freaking strafe. Uh, yeah, there we go. You're not shooting, though. Okay, this is not working out well. Oh, because I was pressing the wrong button to shoot. So it only takes four jabs from a spear to kill me. Okay, well, at least they don't have their uh, huge, gigantic swords. But they are relatively slow. I'm about to try something here. And it may backfire in my face. But, uh... I'm, I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna give it the old college try. Oh, crap. Uh, I forgot, he moves really slow with that, but, um, at least Pyramid Head took damage, um, or Pyramid Head number one. Uh, please tell me he can run fast with this equipped, because I kind of need to get out of here. Okay, cool, he can. Is this hurting them? It doesn't appear like it. Do I actually need to use the sword to kill them? Oh man, uh... 
Lower your weapon and run, James. How's my health doing? And I don't trust him to reload on the game screen. Uh, wow. This is not going well from what I can assume. How many hits do they take? Or do they need to be closer for me to do real damage with this? I don't... I'm not even seeing blood. I really don't know if what I'm doing is correct. And this seems like an awful idea, but... Okay, um, I pause right when they're about to get me again. Crap, I ran right into him. Oh uh, boy. This is not going well at all. I'm kind of floundering around. And I'm using up a lot of my healing items. Oh, crap. Look at that juke, though. That, that wasn't really a good juke. Oh, wait. Is this like, uh, you know, old era Nintendo games where they have to be on the screen? Was that blood splatter? Was that blood splatter? That looked like blood splatter. It would have been nice if it was. If this camera would cooperate, though, that would be, like, pretty swell. Just run it on the perimeter. Okay. Okay, I am just seriously a few... Okay, wait, he took damage there. He took damage. He staggered a little. Wait a minute. So were those shots missing because... Yeah, President Switch doesn't do anything. Don't tell me the darkness is messing with my accuracy. Because that would be... Very lame. Like... Considerably lame. Damn it, James. Okay, that pyramid head seems to be moving a little slower. Either that or that's how they always move. Damn it, James. Okay. He actually got hit. I guess I do have to have them on screen for the shots to register. Or not. I guess I just have to get lucky and hope a shot hits them. Um, oh man. My healing items. <laughs> I'm using too many of them. How many rifle shells do I have left? 16. That should be fine. Maybe. Oh god, no, no. Get out of there. Okay. Wait. No, I want them to be on screen so that I'm sure I hit them. Like that. That just happened. I guess they couldn't take the thought of losing to James, so they committed ritualistic suicide. Honestly, if I was Pyramid Heads over here, I, I'd be kind of, uh, you know, embarrassed too. I mean, it's, it's freaking James. Don't tell me what door I choose is going to determine what ending I get. I mean, I would assume the ending is coming up. I just fought pyramid heads. Two of them. Apparently, there's a race of pyramid heads out there. Or wait, is the main boss going to be like a pyramid head with a sword? Like he knocks down James and grabs his sword back? I don't know. It's locked. Okay.
Round indentation on the door. Okay. Spirit head won't move anymore. <laughs> oh, rust colored egg. They will give me an egg? Scarlet egg? What? Why is one gotta be scarlet and why is one gotta be rust? Oh well. Oh wait, no, I actually have to select. I guess the egg goes in the indentation. It's locked. Uh, no, damn it. Okay. Oh. I keep forgetting I gotta go to the start menu. Cause James need things, he needs things spelled out for him. I wonder, can I go back and save? Please don't let those things respawn, though. Okay, good. Good. I don't know. I'm kind of iffy on, like, saving with so little health supplies left, but at the same time, I only used, like, half of them in that fight. Well, an extra... What's the word I'm looking for? The health drink. But, hey, I have my backup file, so I shouldn't be too worried there. All right, so through a door we go. This probably determines my ending, doesn't it? Or they can just lead to the same place. You have a map of this place? Oh, it's the hotel, okay. Oh, so it really didn't matter what door we came through. And even this little piece of hell has doors that can't open. Where are we now? Okay. Well, we are somewhere. Mary? What do you want, James? I, uh, I brought you some flowers. Flowers? I don't want any damn flowers. Just go home already. Mary, what are you saying? Look, <laughs> I'm disgusting. I don't deserve flowers. Between the disease and the drugs, I look like a monster. Well, what are you looking at? Get the hell out of here. Leave me alone already. No use to anyone. I'll be dead soon anyway. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow. It'd be easier if they'd just kill me. But I guess the hospital's making a nice profit off me. They want to keep me alive. Are you still here? I told you to go. Are you deaf? Don't come back. James, wait. Please don't go. Stay with me. Don't leave me alone. I didn't mean what I said. Please, James. Tell me I'll be okay. Tell me I'm not going to die. Help me. Okay, well, that was deep. So she was going through some rough times. I mean, you know, I guess terminal illness will do that for you. But rather than be by her side, he killed her. You messed up, James. You really messed up. Okay. Where the hell is this? And, of course, wh why did I even bother? Wait, let me make sure this is... Yeah, no, no. You're, you're being reloaded now. How many shots do I have left? 13, okay. That should suffice for whatever comes my way. I hope. 
This is like so really awkward. You have no idea. Seriously, wow, this 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 is awkward. You <laughs> The camera could at least cooperate a little more. Like this is actually like kind of all right, well not hard, but eh, a bit confusing like trying to run. Did that thing just lower? Hospital bed? Arena? Oh shit, something's about to go down, yo. Mary? <laughs> Wrong again. Mary's dead. You killed her. Maria? Maria, I'm done with you. What do you mean? But I can be yours. I'll be here for you forever. And I'll never yell at you or make you feel bad. That's what you wanted. Now I understand. The problem is, you're not married. Yeah, we kind of already figured that out. I won't let you. I'll never let you have your Mary back. Okay, um, wow. Um I don't I don't I don't know. I'm oh god, bats, 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 bats. What are those? Oh crap. Um So it's like those little hanging monsters from earlier. What's with the bats though? I don't I don't I don't me, me no understand the bats. That was my last health drink. Oh crap. <laughs> um Oh crap. No, no, no. Oh, so So they slow me down a bit. Okay. To give her time to catch up to me. So my goal here is to just stick and move. Don't get too greedy because then she'll catch up. Doesn't seem to be too bad. I really hope those things don't do damage because that's kind of lame actually. Oh god. Okay. I probably should not have waited for her to get on the screen, but I want to make sure. Just run, James. Oh, for a minute, I thought she was about to corner me. Like, that's some pretty good AI. If that bed would kindly get the hell out of the way. Are those moths or bats? Oh, dear God. My analog stick. The pad is coming off. Damn you mad cats, make good stuff. Oh my god, they do do damage. That, wow. Do I want to, fine. I'm nervous, because I don't know how much damage she does if she grabs me, and I don't want to get grabbed. How many hits? Can I kill the moths or the bats or... I just have to hope I can kill her first. Okay, I, I got kind of greedy there. I know I need to reload. Yep. How many bullets do I have left? Two. After these four. Alright. I gotta make these count. Get away from me, moths, bats, things. Oh god, oh god, oh god, no. 
Get away from me, you damn demon. Whatever the hell you are. Mary, Maria, something or other. Okay, you take an ungodly amount of damage. I can only assume you're a final boss, so it makes sense. Anyway, the last of my hunting rifle ammo. Okay. That was rather anticlimactic, but eh, whatever. Oh, wait, do I get to strike the finishing blow? Oh my god, I think... Oh my god, I can strike a finishing blow. Uh, you know what? You know what? We entered this game scared of Pyramid Head's giant freaking sword. But now we have mastered the sword. And we will use the sword to strike down the final boss. We will miss entirely. James, hit... There we go. All right, we, we cut her torso off, I guess. Well, you can't really cut a torso off. You can, you can cut it in half. It's pretty much what we just did. Everything's back to normal now? Mary. James. So I assume it wasn't Mary that brought him to Silent Hill, but rather his guilt at what he did. I told you that I wanted to die, James. I wanted the pain to end. That's why I did it, honey. I just couldn't watch you suffer. <laughs> no. That's not the whole truth. You also said that you didn't want to die. The truth is, part of me hated you for taking away my life. You killed me, and you're suffering for it. It's enough, James. Mary? Uh, James! <laughs> this is some deep stuff right here. I mean, on one hand, yeah, I mean, of course you wouldn't want your significant other to, like, go through pain and suffering. But on the other hand, like, calling yourself mercy killing them? I don't... S slippery slope right there. Slippery slope. I... I don't have, like, an opinion either or, like, really. It's just, it's just hard to think about, really. I don't know, plus you also got to think about quality of life and, uh, and nah, nah, I'm, I'm just not even going to go down that road. I'm just going to, just going to, you know, be quiet and watch this. But Damn. Now I understand the real reason I came to this town. I wonder, what was I afraid of? Without you, Mary, I've got nothing. Now we can be together. In my restless dreams. He killed himself. So he drove into a river or something or You promised you'd take me there again someday. But you never did. Well That's the letter from the beginning of the game. In our special place. Waiting for you. Waiting for you to come to see me. 
but you never do. And so I wait, wrapped in my cocoon of pain and loneliness. I know I've done a terrible thing to you. Something you'll never forgive me for. I wish I could change that. But I can't. I feel so pathetic and ugly laying here. Waiting for you. Every day I stare up at the cracks in the ceiling. And all I can think about is how unfair it all is. The doctor came today. Oh, so is this the complete letter? I could go home for a short stay. Or was that all part of it at the beginning and it's I don't just remember? Good. It's just that this may be my last chance. I think you know what I mean. Even so, I'm glad to be coming home. Or maybe this was the other terribly. letter Laura had lost, but... But I'm afraid, James. I'm afraid you don't really want me to come home. Oh, and that Whatever might have been why Laura was saying, like, you never loved I can Mary. Tell and how hard it is on you. Cause she read the letter, and, like, she knew that Mary was, like, kind of apprehensive that James would want her to come home. Pity me. Or maybe I just disgust you. I'm sorry about that. When I first learned that I was going to die, I just didn't want to accept it. I was so angry all the time. She was just going through the stages, denial, anger, most. you know. Especially it happens. You, James. That's why I understand if you do hate me. But I want you to know this, James. I'll always love you. Even though our life together had to end like this, I still wouldn't trade it for the world. We had some wonderful years together. <laughs> well, this letter has gone on too long. So, I'll say goodbye. I told the nurse to give this to you after I'm gone. That means that as you read this, I'm already dead. I can't tell you to remember me. But I can't bear for you to forget me. These last few years since I became ill, I am so sorry for what I did to you, did to us. You've given me so much and I haven't been able to return a single thing. That's why I want you to live for yourself now. Do what's best for you, James. So that letter was meant for him after she died and but he killed her, so he never got to read it. Maybe if he was able to read it, he wouldn't have killed her and he wouldn't have ended up in Silent Hill. Like, he James, would have lived his life. It's... Damn. You made me happy. This music does not fit the gravity at all. Uh, I'm gonna mute it just for, uh, 
No precaution. Well, I mean, it's not like I'll be able to claim this video anyway. I mean, it, it's it's probably going to get caught just because of the cutscenes. But um, yeah, it's like some hard rock is playing, and it's like upbeat and everything. No, no, that does not fit. Or maybe I'll keep it in. I don't know. Whatever. I'll I'll decide on something. But uh, yeah, that was Silent Hill too. Um. Gotta say, like, when I first started, I wasn't really feeling it. I mean, it was like, okay, this it's all right, but it's I don't see what all the, you know, fanfare is about that it gets. But, uh, you know, I mean, sort of like, once I got to the Historical Society, like, everything from the Historical Society to the end of the game was actually really good. I really enjoyed that half of the game, and I can kind of see why a lot of people would call this the... You know, like their favorite Silent Hill game and quite possibly the best survival horror game ever made. I mean, I have seen a few claims to that. But, um, I don't know. I mean, part of me still prefers, uh, like, say, Eternal Darkness over this. Because, like, you know, the combat in this game, it's not much. But at the same time, it was the first PS2 uh, installation in this series. I mean, of course, they weren't going to do, like, too much. It came out rather early to the PS2 life cycle as well, and, you know, they only had the Silent Hill 1 engine to go off of, so I can only assume Silent Hills uh, 3 and 4 just improved on it even more and really, like, did some things with the PS2. But then again, those don't get rated as high as Silent Hill 2 does. But I think that could also do with, like, no expectations set by this game in terms of story. Maybe those game stories don't live up to this one. I don't know. I do know that Silent Hill 3 is a direct sequel to Silent Hill 1, so I'm interested in that because I really did enjoy Silent Hill 1. But yeah, that was the ending I got. There are five endings. I don't know what the other, like what two of the other endings are. I know there's one ending you can only get after you've beaten this game once, like at least once. And then um, the other ending, I think I could have got that if I actually uh, skipped through uh, Mary's little dialogue there in the hallway. I mean, I'll have like um, the different triggers for the other endings and um, like the triggers for those endings and like a little quick note on what they are about. Like I guess I'll just have those as little like annotations going across the screen. But yeah, there are also two joke endings. Uh, I don't remember how to get both of them. Well, actually, no, There technically there's only one joke ending. The second joke ending you can only get in the remastering of this for the Xbox, I believe, and maybe the HD collection, I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, in that joke ending, you know, that can, you can only get in the remastered version, uh, you get abducted by aliens. But when the aliens come down, you see uh, Harry Mason with them from Silent Hill 1. So it's like a little callback to that. That's neat. And the other uh, joke ending, which I don't know how to get, I'll have down there. Um, you'll. It's called the dog ending, where uh, you find a dog and you find out that the entire world of Silent Hill was just an apparition of its mind. The dog created Silent Hill. And put you through all that shit. Not gonna lie, I kind of wish I would have got that ending. <laughs> but I, I have no clue how I would have got it. But alright, let's see. Action level normal, red level normal. Ending in water. Yep, so James committed suicide. He couldn't live with what he did. Yep, ending one of four. And like I said, alien ending is a special fifth joke ending that is in the Xbox version, I think. So time, 8 hours, 53 minutes, yeah, that seems about, that seems to go along with what, uh, how long the beat says about this game. 191 items, defeated 9 enemies by shooting, 98 by fighting. Wait, so they count enemies that you, like, kick to finish them off, they count that as fighting? I mean, yeah, I'm not about to waste bullets like that. They got they damn mine. The stage time, roughly two hours. Okay. Oh, wait. Why did I say two hours? One minute, 58 seconds. 
I have no clue what they're counting there. Maybe, maybe time I was in the Silent Hill overworld? I don't know. Okay. I have six stars. Yay? 1,799 points? I was one away from 1,800? I, I guess that's good. I don't know, but yep, those are my results. And, um, yeah, that was Silent Hill 2. So, yeah, the only reason I'm going to have, like, the endings, uh, like, in the video is because I, like, I'm not about to go through this on camera, you know, to get all the other endings. So, yeah, I kind of said I would do so with Eternal Darkness way back when, but... I mean, to get the best ending in that game, you have to beat the game three times. So I guess that's a thing with multiple ending survival horror games. You have to beat them multiple times to see all the endings. Well, that makes sense, actually. Of course, you would have to beat a game multiple times to see the multiple endings. And okay, I'm just rambling on now. But yep, overall, Silent Hill 2, I really enjoyed it. I, I liked it. I liked it. Some things confuse me, but I mean, you know, that that's what a survival horror does to you. It confuses you. Also, this video is getting rather long. So, thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Hope you all enjoyed this LP. And see you next time for whatever comes next. I might possibly do Silent Hill 3. Like, and yeah, this this was that cutscene, but yeah, no, no, we don't we don't care about that. We don't we don't no 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 pressing buttons. Nothing is happening, nothing is occurring, nothing. Okay, there we go. But, yeah, Silent Hill 3, maybe next October, we'll see, we'll see. Unless I, you know, find another survival horror that I want to play through. Maybe Clock Tower? <laughs> no, no, not, not Clock Tower. I don't think I would be able to record that anyway unless I use an emulator. But alright, enough talk, goodbye.